beginning band with Mr. Wiseman. Then we'll have our chorus, which is third, fourth, fifth, and sixth grades. And then we'll have our advanced band, which is fifth and sixth. And we'll end with our jazz band. And that's a whole bunch of people. A lot of people. So let's welcome our groups tonight. Thank you for coming. Give us all, give them all a big round of applause. Thanks so much, Dr. Hosmer. And it is my privilege and pleasure to work with these young ladies and gentlemen over here. And I don't know if you know this, but this is their first time performing in front of an audience. And so they're a little nervous, but they are mainly fourth graders and a couple of sixth graders, so we know how loud they are anyway. So they'll be fine. <laughs> so if you would do me if you would do me one favor, and I always ask this for the beginning band, just to get kind of put their mind at ease so that they know that they are in a very warm and nurturing place. Would you give them a round of applause before they go back? We don't even have to play now. We're already done. That was awesome. We already got the ball. So, uh, we are going to play one. Actually, before I find out, I want to talk a little bit about this band and what, what they do. Um, they come to me once a week and they have saxophone lessons and trumpet lessons and trombone lessons and they basically learn how to play everything. They learn how to get a sound out of the instrument, they learn how to read music, they learn how to annoy their brothers and sisters. Right? You guys good at that, right? Right? How many people in the audience were annoyed by the fourth grade band this year? Yes! Excellent! Good! Alright! Then you guys have done your jobs. Congratulations, beginning band. So, um, they meet in the middle of the year, once they kind of decide that they can figure out how to get a sound and do all those things, we meet and we start rehearsing. So we have lessons during the day and at the end of the day, we have a big band rehearsal with everyone playing together. And what, right now what we're going to do is we're going to perform for you the song that we've been working on since, I don't know, probably about March, I think February, March is basically when we started. And so this is the beginning band and we're gonna play Brian Balmich's Conquest. Oh, by the way, it will feature solos by different areas of the band as we go through. So we hope you enjoy Conquest.
thank y'all so much. Wonderful job, guys. That was great. See, it wasn't so terrifying. You may sing, Lillian. Why do they say? I feel like I speak English, but sometimes I feel like I do not speak English. All right, sing. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to dismiss the, the beginning band and I'm going to have them go put their instruments away. If their instruments and cases are in my room, then what I would like them to do is just go and sit with their parents. Once the rest of the beginning band is finished putting their instruments away, then they may go sit with their parents. You may go. Excellent job. Oh, chorus students may go right up to the chorus. Put your instruments over there. Thank you. What am I going to do? Like, I, have, well, I have a shell for something in my hands. It's hilarious. Don't run. Yep.
Thank you. That was Tessa Coverwell on that last one there.
All right, thank you. He's a trooper, but <laughs> it's tough to stand up there and talk, hot gyms. Uh, okay, thank you everybody. We are heading into our final um, piece for you as a chorus, and this is something we added pretty quickly towards the end here because we like to add something in that's a little bit more fun for the kids that they recognize and know. So they chose this song called Dandelions, and I think it's a really pretty song. We do have some soloists, and things have changed since I printed the program because, you know, illness and things like that happen. So I have some really awesome sixth graders who are going to be doing solos for this one. So let me introduce them as they step down. Ella Mackin, Riley Perrin, Adela Harvey, and then we have Isabel St. Peter joining us for this one.
them to say something. You ask them, they just quiet down, they don't say anything. So this song is one of the songs that we played in the Grady's Festival where they won a gold medal. And this song is entitled As the Eagle Flies by James Swearingen. Oh, before I forget, just so we're all clear, tomorrow is band lessons for beginning band people. And Friday is advanced band lessons for advanced band people. So bring your instruments your music and your reads. I feel like I say this all the time. So. <laughs> <laughs> 
Here we go. Here's our scale first. Pardon me. Ready? Feet on the ground. Sit up straight. Drum or not? Yes, four rounds. Ready? Here we go. Go number one. Watching me, drums. Who do you drum? Go number one. Just up. Just up. Not down. One, two. Look at me. Go. <laughs>
doctor and closer to playing the role of the robot. And I gotta tell you, like this group has worked so hard, and I don't know if you guys have noticed it, but for me, it's amazing to see their progress from one week to the next to the next. And I can't tell I can't tell you how proud I am of these guys. They work so unbelievably hard and they've gotten so much better really every week. I've been really, really impressed with them and they're a really great bunch of kids. And I'd like you to give them another round of applause just because they're awesome. All right, good. So, the next song we're going to play is High Falls Overture. And what they like to call it is what? What do we like to call it? I think we like to call it Weissman Falls Overture. <laughs> That's their nickname for this song. They came up with it. No. So, this one also is kind of tricky. It's got a couple of things where it slows down and speeds up. So, you might get a little food like you did the last one, but we hope you don't. We hope you enjoy this. Uh, James Swear and Jim's Weissman Falls Overture. Get our concert, our advanced band off the stage. Don't move, guys. Settle. 
And then we're going to have our jazz band fill up. We'll switch for a few seconds, give us a few minutes, and then we'll, we'll start with the jazz band set. So we hope you enjoyed it. Thank you guys for that. And we'll be right back. Okay. Excellent. Listen, no moving. Perfect. Definitely perfect. Thank you for waiting, ladies and gentlemen. So this is the jazz band, and they meet um, once a week on Fridays after school. And they get picked up by some very patient and appreciative parents. And we, I certainly appreciate that. Going to school after school is, is tough for kids. And they all come in and they really stick it out. And they've done a really fantastic job. And I'm really proud of them. We worked really hard this year. This is also their first performance. So I'd like to introduce you to the jazz band. Please give them a round of applause before they start playing. Because they're awesome. Yes, please. And I don't know if you've noticed. But there are a couple of people that were either that had to stay back a number of years and are still in the elementary school, or uh, we just kind of hired them. So let me just tell you, we hired a couple of people to come in. We've got a great community here in Brookfield, as you all know, and so I've had the wonderful opportunity to work with a couple of people, a couple of my ex-students, and a parent or two of some of my students. So I'd like to thank them right now. They don't know I'm going to do this, so they're going to be embarrassed, which is kind of why I'm doing. So I would like Ethan Kennedy to please stand up. Noah Clark, please stand up. Please give them a round of applause. They're coming in out of high school, right? You guys are high school now. And they come in every week and help out. They're really fantastic. We couldn't do this without them. It's really unbelievable to have such great kids come in and help us out. And we've got one other person here who is a hidden talent in this town. And her name is Mickey Fox. Please, please stand up, please. Not only is she the parents of some very wonderful kids you may know, the Wesslers. And she is also, not only that, but she's coming today to perform with us on her birthday. So I would like to wish you a happy birthday, and thank you so much for coming on your birthday. That's amazing. I deliberately make these concerts not on my birthday, because I don't know if I'm joking. Kidding. All right. So our first song is called Greg's Groove, and it was written by Greg Gesnitsky. And this is kind of a long, drawn-out song. And what's gonna, there's no solos in this, really, but we're going to have a good time, but it's going to be awesome. Okay, you guys ready? Tessie, you ready? Good. All right. Yes? It's not smiling again. All right. So, without further ado, Greg's group.
Nice job, everybody. You guys have fun? Maya, did you have fun? Good. Long as Maya has fun, that's all I really care about. Maya's great. All right, so the next song is called Blues Machine, and this will have solos in it. This is actually our last, last song of the night, uh, Blues Machine, and we're going to basically play the melody, and we're going to have some solos. This is the first time that I know of that any of these people have ever stood up and taken a solo. And I don't know if you know this, but it's, I, do, I play a lot of solos. I'm kind of a jazz person. And it's really, really difficult to just stand up and play something. So I would like you to do me one favor, and that is when these guys are done, please give them your utmost attention and give them the greatest applause that you can. They're really working hard. This is something that's new to them. They're trying it for the first time. And I could, I, like I've been saying this all day, I'm really proud of these guys that work really hard. I could not have hoped for a better group of kids. So please, uh, let's give them a round of applause before we play Blues Machine.
Good. All right. Thank you.